All right, what's up, gamers? We're going to be testing our zombie skill today and going for the social distancing dark ops challenge. And if you don't know what social distancing is, it's a dark ops challenge that was added here in Cold War. We have to get to round 20 without taking any damage at all. That means getting hit by a zombie, getting hit by splash damage from your own nades or stuns or whatever, taking any kind of fall damage, even if you have stamina up that gets rid of the fall damage. So we basically have to get to round 20. We're taking absolutely zero damage. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And the first time I did this, I was very inexperienced at zombies. Now I'm doing it on controller where I'm also inexperienced, but I have the knowledge coming into it. And I think I have a good strategy. So we're going to go in here with the M16. Here's my build for it really quick. We have the Cobra Red Dot, the SOCOM Eliminator, the Task Force Barrel, the Ember Sighting Point, SOFOD Speed Grip, a 54 round Fast Mag, the Serpent Wrap, and the SAS Combat Stock. And we're starting with Aether Shroud, but once we get to where we want to be, we're putting on Toxic Growth. And we're going to be playing on Firebase Z. But before we get into the video, if you want to pick up a shirt like this, you can go ahead and head over to jmoney-shop.fourthwall.com. And if you want this particular shirt you can get the 26 classic part to the sequel championship edition elite pro over there but if you don't want my name on it and you just want the logo you can go ahead and pick up the diet the 26 classic part two championship edition elite pro they both come in four stylish colors so if you want to help support the channel head on over to jmoney-shop.fourthwall.com if you don't want to type that all out the link will be in the description below all right here we are we just got to not get hit now which you know on paper should be pretty easy first 20 rounds you know zombies aren't going too crazy i think we'll probably only get like a mimic or two i don't know if manglers are spawn yet so i don't know if we'll be turning power on but i think the m16 is probably one of the best weapons in this game one, probably one of the better weapons that i have leveled up currently on this account so this is why i'm rocking the m16 but mostly what we have to do is just be hyper aware of everything these zombies are going to come out of nowhere. We just got to not get hit by anything. And I did mention this earlier, but even if you have stamina up and you have it tiered up to where you don't take fall damage, in any situation where you would take fall damage, it'll still count as you taking damage for this challenge. Same with PhD and explosive damage. That's why you can't really get jackrabbits too easily with the thumper while using PhD. Any, any place where it would count and a perk would, you know, take away that damage, it'll still do it here. So I have to be very careful. I don't know why I picked up any nades in the first place i'm actually gonna toss these away get these out of here let's head through a teleporter now this is the strat i did last time and it was actually kind of easy i can't remember exactly if i started with aether shroud or not or if i went straight into toxic growth i might have gone straight into toxic growth but if we mess up here this is just our first attempt we'll, we'll definitely be trying again but let's grab a stim even though we're not going to be using it it's good to have that as a secondary in case we accidentally throw something same with the tomahawk it's not going to do any splash damage back to us actually i think i'm going to go ahead and switch to toxic growth already let's open up this door and normally what we would do is go and turn on power and everything but i don't think we're going to do any of that we're going to head right into here oh as soon as we get some money we need one more kill there he is Perfect. All right, so completely scratch the Aether Shroud out of there. I'm going in with Toxic Growth, and we're going to be sitting right in here with our boys. Sub gentlemen? Always got to kiss him for good luck. We'll be grinding here in Colonel's office in the dark, which is uh, a first for this account, I think. We hardly ever go in here uh, when we don't have power on, but now we're going to have to survive 20 rounds here. That insta-kill might help. Actually, no, it won't. Obviously, we'll get a lot of these kills faster and easier, but we'll get no progress towards our field upgrade, which we really need for this challenge to work or for the strategy to work rather. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on the ground. So far, so good. We're five rounds in. It's only going to get tougher from here. But our biggest threat in this room is this window. Because if you're not paying attention, a zombie can just come right out and slap you and end the whole challenge. You have to be extremely careful here. We're almost up to our first toxic growth. Ooh, a nuke. Perfect. What you like to see. Come on. We just need like one more kill. Maybe even two. Oh, come on. I guess it was three. Perfect. We're going to put that down right here in front of this window. So if anything hops out, we're immediately notified by getting a hit marker. And it'll slow anything that comes through there down. And they're finally starting to move. There we go. I'm still going to be watching this window closely because these things will still go away after a certain amount of damage. I want to keep that up there for as long as possible because I want to start putting some up here as well. Oh, and it looks like Mimics are going to start spawning. I just saw that item pop in. Ooh, there we go. Good thing that Toxic Growth caught him because I was not seeing him. Ooh, stay down. Honestly, I think this is going to be super, super easy as long as we can get this all set up without getting hit. 
I think it's just smooth sailing from there. We're so close to another toxic growth. And I'm kind of scared I'm making a mistake not turning power on. I can't remember if I turned it on the last time I did it. I think we'll be fine though. We're on round seven, almost halfway there. You stay away from it. I was ready for you that time. Uh oh, I'm low on ammo. That's not good. We have another toxic growth bell. Let's put that down. The zombie wants to drop me ammo. That'd be swell. Okay, I'm completely out of ammo now. I think we have a tomahawk to use. Get out of here. Oh, I hope I didn't just throw those into that room. Okay, this is where it's gonna be tough. Oh, max ammo, perfect. That couldn't have been a more clutch power up. I was about to tomahawk for the whole round and then go buy ammo when it ended. But we have a decoy now, so that's good. I'm gonna hold on to that. I think a decoy can still do damage to you when it blows up, so be aware of that if you're also trying along with me. So far, so good. We kind of clutched up. I think every other round before the round like is completely starting, we're gonna go buy ammo. I think this bush here is starting to get a little low. Now, we already have two down. You can have three down total. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this third one. I'm thinking right here in case elite spawn, but also putting another one at the at the door here or the window might be better because I do see mangler spawn out of this door quite a lot. And it's going to take more than one to slow them down. And we're going to need to get to them quick since they can do projectile damage to us. We're cruising right now. Toxic growth's going in everywhere. Yeah, we're definitely going to need two on that side. I've decided. Okay, we got another one. There we go. Just a little extra barrier of protection. And a nukes out there. I'm going to go grab that. Anything to help these rounds go by faster, I'll take. And that's free, no damage for me. I think last time I did this, I was scared about grabbing any power-ups, thinking that they might you know, do damage to me or end the challenge somehow but i think this time we're just gonna go through with it leave my bushes alone okay, after this round i'm buying ammo so we're gonna need it these zombies starting to get stronger okay we have a bush down good thing we have our second bush up gotta make sure that we stay behind it slow these zombies down just enough what's out there is that a carpenter i don't need that we don't even have armor and we're not gonna get hit so that can stay is that the round okay it is we're running right down, grabbing armor and going right back up. We're not armor, ammo. There we go. Now nobody touched me. We're halfway there. I'm not about to lose now. And we're very close to another toxic growth. Got to make sure I keep them off of my current ones. It's going to take a while to get them back. This is where Aether Shroud would be good. So we can Aether Shroud and go and upgrade our weapon. But we're not going to have that luxury today. We're going to get all the way there with a red. And I think we might actually get a whole nother camo or a whole nother dark ops challenge doing this still no elites yet though i've seen mimics spawn like their little item spawn but they haven't popped up yet like just as a normal spawn to come at me so that's been good but the second those guys start showing up it's gonna get a whole lot different here and we're almost ready to have another toxic growth to go down once this one goes away because i'm pretty sure this one's health is pretty low i wish there's a way to check but also it would kind of like muddy up the screen a bit i think there's already a whole lot of ui going on oh here's a mimic oh and it's coming through the window eat a tomahawk no it hit me oh we have to restart man it only took us till round 12 i think around 11. All right, no more messing around. That was a warm-up game. Let's get our kills now. Let's get them early. Let's get them often. Let's get to round 20 fast. No Rampage Inducer, though. Not yet. Maybe we'll try again with Rampage Inducer. Not today. Oh, they dropped armor for me. Good thing I'm not going to get hit. Do I have enough money to open this? I do. Actually, I think until I get a Toxic Growth, I might stay here and buy the Gallo for those situations where I do run out of ammo. I'm not always going to get lucky and have a max ammo drop there while I have tomahawks on me. Like the tomahawks were helping because so I could just keep picking them up and I knew they weren't going to do splash damage to me. But we really lucked out with that, that max ammo. Oh, there's a tomahawk. That would be good to keep on us. So I'm going to stay here, get my money up, and I'm going to buy that gallo because we don't need too much. We have, we have just two doors to open from here get the kernels let's grab a little extra money from this barricade oh and there's a max ammo right there and i think when we get to like about round 15 maybe we'll do aether shroud because i don't know if we'll be able to get our toxic growths fast enough to replace them but i guess we'll see we'll have to amend our strategy as we go gotta be very careful here all right we have enough to buy it now do that and it's a level three or level two what it, yeah it's only a green so it's a little better than what we have for our m16 which is going to be fine for if we run out of ammo. And now we can go ahead and start making our way towards kernels. Grab the loose change from here. Help us open these doors a little faster. And we have a toxic growth ready. So the second we get there, we can get set up. Stay away from windows. I don't want them to hop out at me, but there we go. A nuke. That's perfect. And a decoy on the ground. I think I just saw another one over here too. Yep. Perfect. We're in really good shape here. I just need two kills to open the next door and we're there. And we might have enough salvage to upgrade. Actually, I don't know. I guess we'll see. All right. We might have enough now to open the door. Let's pop it. Let's go. Oh, I could have waited and grabbed that hower instead. Is it the blue rarity now? Oh no, I messed up my, my placement on the bush. Not only is it not against the window, but it's a little too far to the right. So they're not even going to like really walk through it. That sucks. I'm going to stand right up here then. 
Try to get more zombies to go through it. Let's see if we can upgrade. I, I think it's 300 green salvage for the first upgrade, right? Oh, wait. Power's not on. Never mind. I can't even do that. All right. No more leaving this room now. That's how we get more mimics to spawn. Okay, let's put another toxic growth right here at the door. Probably gonna have to end up putting another one right here. If it'll let us. It's kind of weird how close you can place them together. Sometimes it just will not let you. I'm gonna just let them do damage to that one because I need to replace it. Oh, good compromise. We got a calling card here. Not bad. We're at least coming out of this with something if we don't get our social distancing. I need to work my way over to this ammo. I just saw a mimic thing spawn, so hopefully it doesn't catch us on our way back. That would suck. Okay, we have full ammo. Let's try to stay away from that mimic spawn. Think we can make it back? Okay, cool. Ooh, look at our cash too. Five, 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 five. Perfect. Do some damage to that. Go ahead, zombie. I'll let you do a little bit. I'll take the rest. You have enough for our third toxic growth. I'm gonna try to squeeze it by that window. It looks like there's enough room, but I think the game's gonna try to stop us. I'm honestly scared to even have them break that toxic growth. So I feel like whatever zombie that does break it is gonna end up killing me or at least hitting me and killing the run. But I wasn't gonna say anything. But every single shot I take with this says 69. You know, if you're you're into that stuff. All right, we have another toxic growth. Can we put it right here? Can't be deployed here. Come on. I really did mess up with that one. Put another one right here then. And then hopefully this one will go away soon. Go ahead, break it. I'm gonna let it do two hits of damage to each zombie that comes in and then I'll do the rest. Go ahead. One, two, slap. One, two, gone. One, two, sleep. We're almost there. I just need to pay such close attention to this because I think it's very, very low health. It could break at any moment. Hey, at least we're getting a few levels for this, even though we already have a gold. All right, we're almost back to where we ended last time. I, I wish decoys like affected elites. It'd be so nice to just toss a decoy whenever a mimic spawns and just get that free damage on it before it can hit you. But we might be able to decoy first and let the zombies go and get distracted over there. We finally got rid of our bad toxic growth. I'm just trying to figure out a strat for when that mimic shows up in like a round or two. Oh, a nuke. Perfect. Actually, not perfect. I probably should have got one more kill before I hit that. We're fine. The round's not over. More opportunities coming soon. There it is. All right, now let's put this toxic growth right at the door. Oh, come on. Please go down, game. There we go. Perfect. The exact spot we want it. Now we can kind of just coast from here for a bit. Oh, we need some ammo. Good thing we bought our secondary weapon because we are out of bullets. Okay, let's run down, grab ammo real quick. It is round 10 now. Once we get into the double digits, I think is when elite spawn. This is when the mimic spawned last time. It gives us a little bit of time to get back. Okay, we've made it. Mimic, if you're going to spawn, do it now. Oh, there's an armored zombie. Sleep. We so clutch if there's an elemental pop perk machine on this map. We can get like brain rot going. But I think it's way more likely you'll get hit turning on power than doing this. And you can also turn on power and then try to get into here. But it's very risky. We got another calling card though. And let's just shoot till our heart's content. Because we have a nice little max ammo sitting right here. Honestly, maybe we'll switch to ring of fire once we get this thing all like fully set up. I mean, we are set up currently. But I feel like one of these toxic growths is about to break. And I think it's the one at the door here. Is at least getting close to it. So once we replace that, we can switch to ring of fire. That can block us from getting hit by manglers. We might be able to just tough this one out. Okay, here comes the mimic. Let's get the shots in on it early. Oh, we slowed it. Make it run back through the toxic growth. And it's dead. Perfect. That was stressful. I, my asshole went into my stomach. Okay, there's another mimic spawning. Eat the Tommy. No, no. There's more zombies here now, so it's a little harder to train them through them. Decoy go. Oh, I got hit. Got to restart. Okay, maybe that's not the strat. Maybe we do need to turn power on and have a pack punch weapon. Because we are not doing enough damage to those mimics to get through that. I, I went ahead and switched to Aether Shroud. We're going to try to get power on and we're going to try to do it fast. And honestly, I didn't even think about it till now. We could have tried the Gallo on that Mimic and it might have done more damage than our M16 was doing. We could have threw our decoy earlier, but the second he hopped through that window, I panicked, which is not what you want to do. You got to stay calm, but he just moves so fast and he can lunge at you that I didn't want to stay still. There's just too much going on. We got enough money to make it through the first door. We're going to have to speed run power. We have to do it faster than we've ever done it before. Okay, we almost have enough money to get this door open. Ooh, double points is going to help out. Let's end the round first. Don't want to use double points on the last zombie. Double points always end, or double points always spawns at the very end of the round and wastes itself. We're going to make it count here. We can use it now. There we go. Just rack up all these points. We got double points going. And then once it ends, we can start advancing over to our reactor. Ooh, and a nuke. We'll grab that right at the end of it. Right, let's do it. That's an easy 800 extra points. It might have ended the round for us, so we're going to get power on a little later than we would have. But honestly, all those extra points add up. Toss that in. Grind the rail. Perfect. Get this loose change. Now, this is where I'm really scared of getting hit because we're going to be in this small room. Very, very closed off. I guess not extremely closed off as some other rooms might be. 
but still a lot more claustrophobic than anything else that we've done yet the kernels we we know exactly where the spawns are coming from we can get set up i don't know i guess what i'm trying to say is power is just gonna be a little more difficult but we got the first reactor done here don't get hit in the oh my god Let's say don't get hit while it's uh, blowing up and that zombie is literally two inches away from me. He would have killed me. Now we just got to get this reactor started, which I'm going to do immediately. This one is going to be a little easier, I think. Knock on wood. Let's grab this. And both our reactors are down here. Oh, max ammo. Perfect. We take those. I was running low. And we're one kill away from having an aether shroud ready. So as long as we're, we're fast with it, we should be good. That's a free dodge of a hit. Or we can just save it and use it to grab pack a punch or at least an ammo mod. If we don't have enough, by the time we have power on to get Pack-A-Punch, I'm just going to grab an ammo mod for the weapon. So if we have enough to hit the Wonder Fizz, I'm going to get uh, Elemental. I'm just trying to be very cautious of paying attention to where zombies are going to spawn from and keeping zombies off the reactors at the same time. Because once there's three on the reactor, they'll come for you. All right, well, I guess that doesn't matter for this. We got this one done. I'm not going to grind the rail. I don't want to risk fall damage if I miss it. So sorry, rail. Here's a kiss. We got to keep moving. Now, this last one is usually the one where it starts to get a little tricky. Hopefully, we can get through without getting touched. We have our Aether Shroud ready. We have a decoy ready. We just have to be very, very smart about this one. And there we go. Actually, if we do grab Elemental Pop, I'm kind of scared that we can take splash damage from Shatter Blast. Can you? I don't know why I'm blanking on if you can or not. I, I feel like I've played this game for so long. And how do I not know? I think we'll be okay. Okay, we got zombies right on my ass. This thing's almost done. There we go. That's the reactor. Oof. We have enough to get pack a punch, so I think I'm going to do that. I don't know. Brain rot might be more helpful, especially since we can brain rot mimics and manglers. Like, it might be worth it just to grab that and grab elemental. So I think that's what I'll do. Because with elemental, we'll get it twice as often, and we can get other field upgrades or ammo mods going. But zombies have already spawned in here, so I'm aether shrouding. Let's go ahead and grab brain rot. Go over here and grab elemental. Grab the loose change from here. And now that our Aether Shot has run out, let's grab Toxic Growth so we start building that up and make our way to Kernels. I think first we're going to try to loop around at uh, at Helipad or we can stay here. Staying here might be the better bet because we do end up having enough money to get Pack-A-Punch then we can grab that. But I don't want to be sitting in Kernels until I have this Toxic Growth because that's just a recipe for disaster. And then if we get enough money, we won't have to backtrack. Can we upgrade though? We can. Perfect. Oh, Mimic. Oh, I, I completely forgot that Brain Rot is like the Mimic's weakness. Like It's like Pokemon. It's its type weakness. Oh, please. How do I get down? Is this fall damage worthy? No, it's not. Okay. This is awful. Oh, my Lanta. That was a dangerous corner to take. Let's hop down. What are we going to do in this situation? This this Mimic is, uh, is scaring the shit out of me. Okay, we Brain Rotted it. Go to work, Mimic. Let's loop around back up here. I don't want to risk going through a door. We'll just jump over everybody. Go this way, hop down. And hopefully Brain Rot can start helping us work on getting our Toxic Growth ready. But at least it took the Mimic out. Our Brain Rot's going off. Let's go. Okay, this is working exactly how I wanted it to. Just gonna keep it going. Um, Deadshot might help as well. Oh my God. Us trying to get set up for this is so, so stressful because we're already making really good pace here. It's just, we need to get at least one Toxic Growth going. And now there's gonna be Mimic spawns on the ground, which is the worst part about it. Because on our way to Kernels, we might get grabbed by one. I kind of just need to train up before I do anything here. I want to risk shooting at a zombie and then all of a sudden I'm getting hit by another one. Oh, jeez. I heard the wind from that swing. It wants to be brain rotted. There you go. Get some work done. Holy shit. No! No! Mimic! Did we drop down. Did we brain rot the mimic? Oh, I don't think we're going to get that lucky. Two rounds in a row. We're doing nice damage to him. Oh, we already killed him. Perfect. Look at our brain rot army going in. Okay, I think we're good to head back. I'm running there now. We have a toxic growth ready. We can go ahead and throw that in the window and then just try to defend. We didn't end up getting pack a punch, but we got two perks out of it and an ammo mod. That's not bad. If we can't beat it on this run, I think I just might be the worst zombies players to ever touch this game. And we have the lights on in here. Okay, go ahead, brain rot. Go give me some kills. I had to say hello to the boys. I don't know if I did that last attempt. That's probably why we lost. Honestly, Brain Rot was a really smart move. I, I'm, I'm proud of that because that's going to help us get these toxic growth so much faster. It going out there and getting damage for us is going to be beautiful. Especially if we just get an army of zombies going, they can just wipe out the round for us. Let's go. I'm going to go buy ammo though. Oh, a monkey bomb. I don't, I don't know if I want that. If I miss throw it, that's bad news bears. If it does damage to me, there we go. Next round, I think I'm going to run to the Howard wall by just so I have a backup weapon. And it's not too far away, but... A big issue with that area is that there is a mimics like 
spawn there. I seen them spawn on that bridge constantly. So do I even want to risk it? Deadshot was also a really good call. Killing these zombies and basically one hit now with minimal effort is perfect. Okay, this is definitely the way. It was a lot harder to set up, but I think we're good. All right, we have another toxic growth ready. I'm putting it at the door. And then this one's probably very close to going. So we have to put our next one here. I just have to stay like aimed here at this angle so I can get easy shots in when they spawn. And if it's the first zombie of the round, we might be able to just brain rot it immediately. So come on, Mimic. We're getting past round 10 this time. Okay, we had to race. Wait, we had to waste our brain rot on a normal zombie, but hopefully a Mimic doesn't spawn. Brain rot's going to work down there. Okay, we're doing so well right now. We just got to keep this up. <laughs> we, we, we've made it to our farthest round so far. Made it to round 11. I have a feeling it's going to be a Mimic this round, so I'm waiting for him. Come on, Mimic. Are you going to spawn or no? I don't think so. Okay, let's put down another Toxic Growth here. That one's got to be so close to going away. Is there any decoys out here? No. Ooh, Tactical Rifle Master. Getting something out of this. We're at least unlocking one thing per run. We've gotten a few calling cards. Now Mimic's going to spawn? Nope, but we have an Armored Zombie. I'd rather have him on my team. Never mind, he's dead. I'm very concerned for when these elites are going to start spawning. Why aren't they spawning at the start of the round? Our Brain Rot's doing so much work down here that they haven't even gotten up to this bridge yet. Oh, there's a decoy. Perfect. We just lost our Toxic Growth. Good thing we have our secondary one down and we're close to getting another one. Let's put it down now. There we go. Now it's just rinse and repeat from here. Hopefully. I'm really scared for this mangler to show up. We got to immediately take its gun out and hope that the explosion doesn't affect us. I'm going to go buy ammo as well. Okay. We have an assault wave. This is fine. We don't have to leave at all. We can kind of just stay here. But while there's an assault wave, what we can do is take advantage of this time. We have 16,000 points. We can go and get pack-a-punch and come back. That's actually perfect. And we can go ahead and grab this power wall by. I feel like there is going to be a mimic on our way. This always happens whenever we go back to spawn spawn a mimic will show up so this is tough there also could be a spawn on these stairs for a mimic i normally jump down but i want to risk the fall damage so i'm going to kind of sneak around yep there's one right here spawn you bitch there it is brain rotted let's go he's going to defend us we have a little bit of time before zombies start showing up over here so we have it pack a punch now uh, any of these perks going to help us probably speed cola that'll help us get our field upgrade faster and then mule kick for ammo and then let's grab blue on this and that's about all we can do. Let's try to get back home safely now. Because zombies still are going to come for us. Even if we aren't at the beach. There'll be a few that stay there and do damage to the machine or whatever. But the rest are going to come and try to find us. But we're already all set up over here. But after this, power is going to go out there. We're not going to be able to pack punch again. But that's fine. We only have one more assault wave in this uh, game. Or at least within these 20 rounds. We should be good. I think we'll be fine. Okay, they're onto the reactor now. Still no zombies have shown up over here. They gotta be getting close. I can see them on the mini map. I'm ready for them. There we go. And we got the armored zombie to turn right back around. The second they destroy this reactor, the round's gonna be over. So they should uh, probably speed that up. We've only seen two zombies here and one of them we brain rotted. Come on, where are you guys at? Okay, the reactor blew up. Are the zombies still coming? They are. What's up guys? Do I still have to kill all the zombies in the round for it to end? I thought it just ended when the reactor blew up. I guess Brain Rod's gonna go do all the work for us. I wish these cameras showed like a live feed of where all the zombies are. That'd be nice. Just sit there and watch. There can't be that many zombies in this. Come on. Come down the bridge. I'll take care of you. There we go. Go find your friends. Am I gonna have to go out here? In the round end, please? Why is it taking you guys so long to get over here? Finally. Okay, round 14. We're the most set up than we've ever been. We have Pack-A-Punch. We have Brain Rot. We have Elemental Pop. We have Dead Shot. We have Speed Cola. We have Mule Kick. Now I'm just waiting for this Mangler to spawn. I know it's coming. I just want it to happen sooner rather than later so I don't freak out when it happens. Okay, and we have a Toxic Growth in the back pocket. This is perfect. If we can get two built up, then we're just going to be easy repairs. Like if one goes down, we can just put another one right up in its place. This is exactly where we want to be. Oh, we could also get real lucky and have our Mangler spawn outside the map. Like, that happens so much when we're grinding camos. If it happens during this, that's that's huge. Come on. I know you want to spawn in there, Mangler or Mimic. Show your face. Okay, I hear a Mimic. Where's it coming from? I want to get a shot on it. Uh-oh. There's the Mimic. It's already dead. Let's go. Pack a punch plus brain rot. Just messed it up. Oh, and there's a nuke out here. I'm grabbing it. That helps out. And some intel. Give me that. Any more elites want to spawn? Brain rot was such a good choice for this. I absolutely obliterated that Mangler or that Mimic, whatever they're called. I don't even care. They're nothing to me. Round 16, we're four rounds away. This is our game to lose. All right, I heard the Mangler spawn. We didn't spawn up here. I think he did spawn on the map, which is perfect for us because he can't even shoot at us when he's out there. It's just a free kill. And we can grab ammo on our way back. It's it's on our way. Oh, and we have all three Toxic Growths ready. This is easy. It's just a setup that's a little difficult. Then once you're in here, smooth sailing. And you get free levels. 
what's there to hate? Oh no, he spawned up here. Not good. Get the shots in. Okay, he's dead. Perfect. Pack a punch made so much of a difference in that fight. Okay, so maybe we didn't have to go down there and kill him while he's stuck because he did respawn, but that was clutch. For that to happen, like early in the round, him just get stuck there and us have to focus on zombies is beautiful. Three rounds to go. I hope I didn't take fall damage or anything somewhere. I want to get to round 20 and discover that we didn't get it. Oh, there's a Gersh out there. I'd love to take that, but I think when it explodes, I might take damage from it. And we just replaced our bush too. Oh, we're, we're doing great right now. I am talking myself up too much though. This is when everything goes bad. Round 18 or two away. Any decoys out here? No, I'm going back in. Honestly, this might be a viable like social distancing strat for high rounds. I mean, Firebase isn't the best high rounds map, but if you're trying not to get hit, sit in here and replace and everything could work. And then you just go and get pack a punch. You get perks during the assault waves. That could be fun to do. Oh, max ammo. Let's sneak out there for it. That was very risky. I probably shouldn't have done that, but we have it. Oh, would have been what would have been really smart is if I would have put like shatter blast on the Howler or something, so I could just pull that out whenever a, a mangler shows up, or if there's like a horde of zombies at the door. But that's okay. We're making it through here pretty nice right now. Oh, there's a nuke. Let me hit that. We're in our last round too. If we can survive this, it's over. Unless you have to survive round 20, then it's not. But either way, we've come a long way. Go ahead and spawn up here, Mangler. I'm waiting. I'm ready. Nope. Just some normal zombies. I'm surprised the front door toxic growth hasn't broken yet. I feel like it's going to. So I'm gonna pay a little more attention to the front door. I don't want that to be our downfall. So far, so good. No elite spawning either. If it's just zombies, it's gonna be the easiest round ever. Especially with our gun doing this kind of damage. Nothing's getting past us. And brain rot going off. Get him. Let's go. We made it to round 20 and we have an assault wave. Oh, we got it. Social distance easy and the beach is right here to protect we can do this you know what let's just try to protect it try to do it without getting hit let's add to our campiness and get a turret all right where are they spawning at right here guess what gone sleep ain't no way any of them surviving except maybe a few that's okay because guess what putting the turret down and we're putting toxic growth down we're literally just playing tower defense Ooh, mimic you don't want the smoke pal goodbye oh there's another mimic guess what sleep oh more zombies gone Still haven't been touched. Oh, now they're coming from the other side. Guess what? Don't care. M16 sharpshooter badge. I'm that good. Put another toxic growth down right here just because. Toxic growth is such a fun field upgrade, honestly. I need to use it more. There we go. Now let's try to exfil without getting hit too. All right, hopefully we can do this fast. All right, brain rot, defend me. Start it up. We got it. Don't hit me. Ooh, okay. Let's get around these zombies. Open the door. Now here's where it might be tough. Okay, throwing down toxic growth. Throwing the decoy onto the toxic growth. Oh, genius. Oh, we got hit though. Damn. We got hit one time this game so far. And it might be two. Yup, two. Okay. Everybody get into this. Get into it. Yeah. Okay, three times now. Four times. Five times. We're about to go down. Okay, we went down. It's okay, because it's just the X-Fill and we can self-revive. We already got the Dark Ops challenge. I mean, what, what we got to prove now? Nothing. We did it. Slow burn. More challenges. Three hostiles left. What? Why are you guys just now spawning in? Are we good? Yep. Let's get out of here. Let me in. Okay. We did it. We completed social distancing. It took us three tries, but I think there at the end, uh, we finally had a good strat down. It was a little more risky, but after the setup, it was super safe, smooth sailing all the way to that Dark Ops challenge. Now let's make sure that we got our calling card here. Where we go? Zombies. Scroll on over to Dark Ops. And there it is. Wait for it to load in. Social distancing, baby. We got it. That's another Dark Ops down. We have another round, which is reach round 100. We have reached round 30 without going down and kill 50 enemies with a single support. You might have to go through here and get all the dark ops done, or at least some of them. There's no way I'm getting a million kills on this account. It's not happening. But there we have it. We got social distancing done for the second time here. One on keyboard and mouse. This time we got it on controller. So if you guys want to use the strat, go ahead. Let me know if it works for you. It was a little uh, you know, disjointed. We were trying to figure it out as we go, but it ended up working out for us. So that's where we're gonna have to end today's video. If you guys like this and you wanna see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please consider to subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.